Hey guys, welcome to the Solution Architect channel. And today we're going to talk about uh, create a .NET Core MVC web application. So this is part one. So there's uh, a few parts that's going to come um, that I'm going to talk about the phases of this project. The first one is to create the application .NET Core um, and also um, then add ASP.NET identity, which will be uh, part two. So it will be separate videos. The third video will add is we'll add a SQL Lite da database with the um, entity framework. And then we'll also implement role based security. So what is MVC and why am I using MVC? But MVC is called model view controller. The model represents a data which is normally um, updates updates the view and connect to some sort of database or data source. The view represents the UI. That's where the user gets interacted, what the users see, and uh, the view normally sends input um, that the user enter on the front end to the controller. The controller then manipulates the model um, and will send some actions through. Uh, to the view, which is something like a CRUD, create, read, update, or delete. The simple use case that I'm going to uh, implement with this project is uh, users can register and log in, and then uh, users can view, uh, but not update. So they, there's the role based security that, that I'm going to implement, and only the admin users can add new products, and the user can also uh, view products. So that is um, the end, and I'm going to jump over to Visual Studio Code to start the project. Okay, so the first thing you want to do, open, open your Visual Studio Code. Uh, remember, for those that don't know, Visual Studio Code can run on Linux, can run on Mac OS. I am running it on uh, Windows OS. Um, So what you do to create a new MVC, you just make sure everything is clear. You, you say .NET new MVC, and the output will be um, test MVC web app. Okay, so if you go to the directory in there, let's say cd test mvc web app. And if you run the directory, you'll see there's a lot of application um, files, default files that was added. So the next thing you want to do is add a workspace folder. If you click there, you see there's nothing in there. You can just say, um, open a folder and the project is test MVC web app just that folder and that will add everything that the MVC the .NET um, new has created for you okay so in my presentation I told you guys that this for the model view controller three um, areas that is significant to to the MVC pattern and you've got controllers you've got models and you've got views now out of the box .NET will create your, your for you a home controller if you go in there you'll see that um, the home controller has got something like an index it's got a privacy page and it's got an error page very very simple and then you've got your model um, the only model in here is your error view model. Um, obviously, you will start creating your own models, and I'll show you how to do that um, in the next video. Then um, you've got your views. Out of the box, the um, .NET new will create a home for index, which is, is just your home page. You can see they're welcome. I'm going to leave it as is and you've got the privacy page then there's a few shared pages there you've got one for cookies you've got the layout page your layout is normally the one 
um, that populates your menu structure on the top there. You've got some validation script partial page, which I'm not really going to go into right now. If you've got your error page, if anything happens, this is the page that will pop up. And then you've got two uh, view imports and view start. Now I'm not going to go into detail here. You'll see when we start using scaffolding why that is important. So let's, the only thing I want to do right now is just let's run this application. I'm not going to run it from the terminal. Let's go to uh, debug and you need to select a configuration. Okay, so default out of the box is if you want to debug your code from Visual Studio Code, you need to select some sort of configuration. If there's none, you need to add one. And when you add one, is you want to use the .NET Core libraries. Um, you've got Node.js and you can use others as well, but we'll, we'll use this environment because I want to eventually show you that this app, same application can run on Windows as well, well as on Linux. That will create a launch for you. Um, and this launch is just to say that it's going to launch in a web browser. Let's click start here. Okay, so um, what popped up here is um, obviously this, uh, it, it will not run on HTTPS because I haven't set up any certificates or SSL. So what you need to do is go to advance and proceed to localhost. Um, so th this is our web app. We've got privacy. If you click there, that's the privacy page. This home page this is a welcome page here. Very, very simple out of the box. This is what you do if you want to just quickly create a web application. Now we've got absolutely no security in here and that's what I'm going to focus on um, on my next video is how to add um, ASP.NET identity for authentication as well as auth authorization. And thanks for watching. Um, please come back for the next video. And please subscribe and click the notification but button because I'm intending to load a lot of um, videos up. Um, remember, I, I do have a experience in this, so I'm going to go into much, much more detail and complex things as well. But I want to start with the basics. So please subscribe and please click the notification button. If you like it, please like it as well.